Hello everybody, um, Arabic Witch here. I just wanted to show you how I work with St. Jude. I figured I'd take this opportunity. I'm not showing myself right now on camera because I am mighty um, stressed out and tired looking and so. Um, Alright, so what I'm, let me just. Cover my petition here for all you nosy people from my haters club. People I know, per, you know, personally. I'm sure it stalked my life on here. Um, okay, so what you're going to need, a St. Jude candle, okay? He's the patron saint of lost causes. When all hope is lost, you go to St. Jude, okay? Now, St. Jude is very simple. He is such an easygoing saint, okay? Um, such a kind, spirited saint. He, it doesn't take much to, to make him happy. You make a donation in his name and, uh, or even speak his praises, and he's happy with that. Oh, you hear that crackling. Um, so basically what I did is you write your petition. You can either roll it up, put it in the candle or put it underneath. Um, now for him, I usually keep the petition open right in front of his, um, candle. I just close it for my, I don't want nosy people. Uh, honestly, I really don't care, but whatever. Um, leave it open for him because he's kind of an aloof saint. Um, he was smashed in the head, so he tends to be forgetful and stuff like that. So when it comes to working with St. Jude, you got to keep things very clear for him. Um, he's such a kind-hearted saint that you cannot use him for um, uh, retribution spells or anything like that because he's just, it's not, it doesn't go with his nature. He, he just won't do it. Um the most you can that he'll do as far as with your enemies go is protect you from them and cause them some confusion so that they can't harm you. But that's pretty much as far as it goes. He likes frankincense and olive oil, okay? So I make him his own oil, and it has just that frankincense, olive oil, and some flower petals because he likes flowers. So I gave him a little dried carnation, and I also put some carnation um, buds in there. I poked three holes. Um, I put three drops of frankincense essential oil in each, and I drizzled some olive oil in there. Um, well, you know, that's what his oil is consists of. Also, that glass of water uh, is for him. You always want to leave him a glass of water. And three shiny pennies, okay? His numbers are one and three. So anytime you do anything for him, it's either going to be one or threes. So I gave him, and he loves coins, so I gave him especially shiny new pennies. So I gave him three brand new shiny pennies, okay? Um, I, you know, he likes when you make donations in his name, um, anything like that. He's the saint to go to when you're in desperate need. Um, so hence why I, you guys know why I use him um, I told myself, I'm not going to let this job just toss me aside like that. I'm hitting this thing head on. So I got my St. Jude candle, and then I got two other candles I'm going to be doing that I'm probably going to keep personal. Um, and look, I got my road uh, opener candle, and it's nice and clear, which is good. So as you can see, I forgot to show you guys um, the finished product. I got my orange here, and pine needles and along with some pine cones uh, around it and it's it's burning nice and beautifully and clear so um but anyway so that's um you know my saint jude working and he's really amazing for just such an occasion so i figured i'd share that with you guys all right i hope you enjoyed that video it was a quickie but um you know if you haven't worked with saint jude Try it. He's very, very simple, easygoing uh, saint. Give him his three pennies, his little flower, and his water, and he's good. 
All right. Talk to you later, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love, light, blessings. Um, my boy Simon even offered to do a spell for me. I love you guys. Like, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Rocco, say, say hello. Say hello. Mommy loves you. And I'm a bad boy and I peed on her carpet today. Good night, guys.